What happens when sea lions turn the tables on a white shark? How do great whites greet each other? And what's really going on when dolphins and white sharks cross paths? In this week's video, we're going to take a look at each of these scenarios, each one of them I filmed recently. But first, I know you get tired of hearing this, but it matters now more than ever in a world full of AI content. Please support creators who are out there filming real nature. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, comment, and like. It helps a lot more than you know. With your support, I promise I'll keep bringing you the ocean as it is, unfiltered, authentic, and real. And if you stay until the end, you'll see just how close to shore some of these really big sharks get in the peak of summer. I hope you enjoy this one. People often ask me, how often do sharks interact with other species? And my answer is always, every single day. Usually it's with seabirds. Birds aren't the first thing people imagine when thinking of shark interactions. But when it comes to surface activity, it's almost always the birds that sharks seem to greet. I've never personally seen a white shark eat one, though it does happen. More often, the birds simply scatter. Because many seabirds lack the oils on their wings that repel water, flight isn't an option. They can only paddle away. This curiosity sharks show towards birds can even feel comical at times, with the birds dipping their heads beneath the water as if to keep an eye on the shark below. Up close, it's easy to forget the commotion that came before. A single shark glides just beneath the surface, its dorsal fin slicing through the water the world-renowned signature of its presence. Moments like this reveal the quiet side of a predator so often defined by action. But when sharks encounter each other, the tone changes. What might look like a casual crossing of paths is something more. A greeting, a negotiation, and at times, a silent display of dominance. These encounters carry subtle but important social dynamics. Like many animals, sharks establish hierarchy. When sharks encounter each other, it's often more than just two animals passing by. What you're really seeing is dominance hierarchy in action, the subtle way animals decide who gets priority. With sharks, that hierarchy isn't about fighting, but about body language who approaches directly, who yields space, and who holds position in the water. And more often than not, size is the deciding factor. But sharks don't only navigate hierarchy among themselves. Other species cross their paths too. And when dolphins show up, that interaction takes on a very different character. Once again, size plays a role. The bigger the shark, the farther away the dolphins tend to stay. But sea lions, they play by different rules. Instead of keeping their distance, they often chase sharks, sometimes even harassing them. Here are some of those encounters. As calm as a shark may seem when gliding alone, the ocean rarely stays that way for long. Other animals are always on the move, and sometimes their paths cross in unexpected ways. One encounter in particular always stands out. Dolphins. Dolphins, unlike most species, they don't shy away from sharks. In fact, they'll often approach them directly. Here, a pod of seven dolphins closes in on a shark from behind. At first, the shark startles and veers away. Notice how the dolphins bunch tightly together as they pass. A strategy to appear larger and more intimidating. Strength in numbers on full display. As the dolphins press forward, that shark circles behind them, a classic white shark behavior. But suddenly, a second shark appears. Once again, the dolphins startle it. Just like before, this shark veers off and tries to fall in behind. The dolphins keep moving, leaving both sharks behind, until they meet a third shark. Once again, they bunch tightly, and the shark tries to circle back. I don't often get to see the same pod approach four different sharks, but that's exactly what happened. The fourth shark was noticeably smaller. This time, the dolphins broke formation and rushed past. 
With less of a threat, the need to appear larger vanished. The small shark simply left the area instead of turning back. But up ahead, two larger sharks were cruising, and here the dolphins made no approach at all. So many shark and dolphin encounters, and so many different outcomes, all shaped by size, strategy, and caution. It's clear that size plays a big role, not just in encounters between sharks, but in how other species choose to engage them too. However, there are exceptions. What happens when sea lions encounter a white shark? Can boldness and agility outweigh size? It often does. Here, a white shark navigates the kelp bed. Two sea lions are nearby. What happens next flips the script on size entirely. Watch closely as the shark moves toward the frolicking sea lions. One of them is already aware, dipping its head below the surface to keep a watchful eye on the approaching predator. Then, suddenly, both sea lions dive beneath the water and give chase. They speed toward the shark, at one point coming just a few feet from its tail. Likely surprised, the shark races forward. The tables have been turned. As the pursuit continues, the agile sea lions flank the shark on both sides, driving it completely out of the shallows. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense. What you just saw is a reminder that size isn't everything. Strategy, agility, and boldness can turn the tables, sometimes literally. From the cautious dance between dolphins and sharks to the bold pursuit of sea lions, every encounter tells a story about these animals and how they negotiate their world. And speaking of surprises, some of the biggest sharks in these waters get incredibly close to shore during peak summer. Before we take a look, I want to thank you for watching, liking these videos, and subscribing. Without your support, I couldn't continue to bring you this real, unfiltered nature. Remember friends, keep it real. Every summer, some of the largest white sharks swim surprisingly close to shore. But why do they come so close? Is it a hunting strategy, a way to navigate currents, or something else entirely? Being in Southern California, it's often thought that it's just mainly juveniles near the shore. However, in peak summer months, I can attest that it's not entirely rare to see enormous sharks frequent the shallows. Just last month, I filmed a 15-footer near the Santa Monica Pier, very close to shore. What's clear is that size isn't the only factor in the ocean. Dolphins use teamwork, sea lions rely on boldness, and sharks themselves adapt, shifting behavior depending on the moment. Each encounter raises questions, and every question brings us closer to understanding how these animals truly live. Thanks for watching.